Next stop on the Castrol GTX Cup Series brings us to the first road course stop on season 20 of the series. This is race number, I think, race number 14 this season. And, and actually, no, this race is race number 13, excuse me. As we are here for today for the running of the Budweiser 400 from Riverside Raceway. This is the first of three races on the road courses this season. And this is the different version of Riverside we're going to be running. This is the, this is the long version of Riverside. Has kind of the carousel, much like you would see on the track we're going to later on the season at Sonoma. So we'll see what happens here on this version of the course. So the other side, that's going to start my running a bit. Ford sweep the front row. On the pole is Keith Batson. Car 20 of Texaco Haviland Ford. Yet to win race this season so far. He'll be alongside Jessica Shelton, number 94, the McDonald's Ford, the queen of the road. And she's alongside. She has a win this season at Dover. Second row has Charles Sanford in car 24, the, the, the DuPont Chevrolet. He'll be flanked by Joshua Collard in car 43, the STP Pontiac. Third row has Kyle Matthews in 42, the Coors Light Silver Bullet, winner this season at Rockingham, and William Brock in the number four Kodak Film Chevrolet. Going to row four, it's, the, it's Dylan Zapair, Dylan Poteet in 22 on the inside, and Dylan Young in number two on the outside. Here we Poteet in a Pontiac and Young in a Ford. Going the next row, going to row five, it's Zachary Fitzwater in car nine, it's Spam Melling Ford. And 21, the Daytona 500 champion, Quentin Moore in the Sitgo Ford. Row 6 has Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. Two-time winner season. Winner this season at Bristol and North Wilkesboro. And Jesse Turner on the outside in the 75, Remington Arms Ford. Next row down has Preston Plore driving a Chevrolet in this race. The number 18 Interstate Battery Chevrolet. And Trent Dunham winner this season at Texas and again at Darlington in the Pennzoil Chevrolet number 1. Next row down is Phil Parker in number 5 and number 98, Seth Cole. Seth was winning this season at Martinsville. Next row down is Levi McIntyre. Next up is SKF4, car number 99. And he'll be alongside car number 16, Johnny Gardner, Family Channel, Prime Star Ford. Next row down has the Coca Cole 600 champion, Joshua Osborne in the 87 Burger King Chevrolet. And Mike Becker in number 44, the Hot Wheels Pontiac. Next row down has Austin Colano in the Kmart Little Caesars. Energizer Ford, and beside him will be car will be Becca Teller in a Valvoline Ford, car number six. Next row down has Ryan Brommer in another special number seventeen paint scheme, the third one he's running this season, or just in, in this uh, in this series. He's in the parts of he's in Western he's in Western Auto Parts America Chevrolet, car number seventeen. Throwback to the Pepsi Challenger Daryl Waltrip cars from nineteen eighty three. He'll be flanked by Jonathan Sorrow in the XR Barriers Ford, car number seven. Next row down has number 11, Ashlyn Boyd in the Lowe's Ford. And beside, her will, beside him excuse me, will, be, will be Zach Winkle. And then number 97, John Deere Ford. He's rubbing a Taurus in this race. Next row down is Paul Minnick in number 23, the Smoking Joe's Ford. And Ben Salmarigo in number 10, the Tide Ford. Next row down has Peter Onjack in number 41. And number 30, Daniel Bouchard. Next row down, Dane. Kat, uh, Kat Batson, number 88, the Texaco Havlin Ford, and Tony and Rob Evans, the number 12, the Mobile One Ford. Next row down, Ryan George, number 15, the Quality Care Ford, and beside him will be number 33, Tony Green. Next row down has Carter Friesen, 71, and Ben Croucher, 25. Next row down has Jason Haywood, 81, and number 90, Jay Jefferson, the Holic Mars Ford. Next row down, Diego Yepes in number 77, the U.S. Air Ford, the U.S. Air Jasper Engines Federal Mogul Ford. And beside him, Nicholas Wade in the Quaker State Ford, car number 26. And starting shotgun in the field will be Sean Ard in the first plus financial Ford. His car number is 13. He's one of the three Ford Tauruses in the field today <laughs> here at Riverside. Well, Riverside or well, Riverside in real time is actually closed because of a uh, because of obviously land development and something something else spilled over that. But through the spirit of interest, it lives on. And here comes the command of fire the engines for the Bud Four Hundred.
Keith Batson is one is one of our three drivers who has in car cameras in today's event. He, Jessica Shelton, and Joshua Coward will all carry our in car cameras in today's running of the Bud 400 here at Riverside. Ford has the front row for today's event here. Batson looking for his first victory of the season. Shelton looking for two in a row after dominating at Dover. As the as they come to the off turn number nine, the green flag waves, and we are racing at Riverside. This version of Riverside is very, very fast. One of the fastest road courses we go to on the tour. And another one will be good. Another fast road course we'll be visiting later on the season will be at Watkins Glen uh, for the third and final road course race of the season. And Keith Batson already has pulled out to a substantial lead on this on second place Jessica Shelton. And there's the sh and there's the carousel we're talking about right there, just part of the course. Leading to a sweeping turn, and that's where Batson's going through right now. Shelton is in second position. Third is Kyle Matthews. Fourth, Charles Sanford. Fifth is Joshua Collard. Roof cam from Collard's car. And watch those cars accelerate. These cars will knock on about 195 to 200 miles an hour. Now just straight away in cut physics. And Collard in the draft, 199, 201 in the turn number, in the final turn. And that's some serious speed he's carrying, too, on this course. Keith Batson leads the first lap of the event. And he has already pulled to a 1.2 second advantage on Jessica Shelton. And problems, apparently, and, and we had uh, problems with the, one of the starters. That's Trent Dunham in number one. He is actually the last card on the lead lap, or fighting to stay to be the last card, or fighting to stay as the last card on the lead lap. Dunham apparently made an unscheduled pit stop to kick to uh, start before the green flag even fell. And he is back on the track. And I think he actually. No, he is the last car in the lead lap, so Dunham just barely beat the leader, uh, Keith Batson, out. But that's Cl Jessica Shelton close right up on Batson. Here comes Shelton to the inside as they go to, as they come down the, the straightaway. Nothing there at the moment. Dunham is holding Batson up. And now she slips just a little bit. Now let's let Kyle Matthews pull up behind. And now he's under, and of course now he's under fire from Charles Sanford, number four, number twenty-four. Batson trying to move inside of, of Dunham, and he gets by Trent and Shelton. Let's see what she does right there, going through the last turn. Oh, Dunham and Shelton to the inside, and Shelton's going to take the lead on Batson. Boy, talk about pulling a fast one on the leader, Jessica Shelton. Who dominated Dover? She leads her first lap of the race here, but Batson's not giving up easy though. That 28 car has been awfully strong. Shelton slips and she goes off in the dirt just a little bit, keeps the lead somehow, and now Batson trying to find a, any way or everything around her, uh, trying to find a way around her, I should say. Now through turn six, Batson looks outside. He looks inside. Shelton off the high side. Batson looks low as they go to turn over in the turn, and he takes the lead back from Shelton in turn six. Now they go through turn seven. Shelton back on the inside there. And look, what racing here at Riverside! Batson and Shelton driving their brains out at the moment as they come down through as they come down through turns through turn eight. And Keith Batson, after losing the after losing the lead, one lap now takes the lead back from Shelton. And the front five is lined up single file. Wow. <laughs> Off the ninth turn, he come they come right there. Now Kyle Matthews moves inside of Shelton for second place. So Matthews wants to join in on the fun here at, at Riverside. 
And Kyle Matthews makes that pass look easy as they go to, as they come down through the S's. Riding with Jessica Shelton in, the, in, the, in third position. They're, now they're turn six they go. They usually be going straight ahead off turn six, but as I said, this edition of the course that we're running, actually on a trial run to be honest, for just this season. We'll see if, um, if another season comes back in the series, we'll see if we'll keep this version. Shelton now rides at rides turn seven. Actually make that turn eight. And dips that corner about to about 74 miles an hour in second gear. Let's see how fast she goes down this long straight away. We saw 201 miles an hour out of Joshua Collard. Hundred and eighty eight miles an hour, hundred and ninety, ninety five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred miles an hour to turn number nine goes Jessica Shelton. As she tries to find a way to close up on the front two of Keith Batson and Kyle Matthews. And down into turn number one about 164 miles an hour. So Shelton with her pass lap with the race at a, at 134.0 miles per hour. But she is not the fastest car on the track. Though. The fastest car on the track is the man leading, Keith Batson, at 136.2 miles per hour. So this course, as I said, very fast here. Many faster than what Watkins Glen offers, if, as hard as that is to believe. This track here is about 2.7 miles long at Riverside. I'm not sure how long it is with the, with the addition to the track, but... Batson's still trying to draft off the one of Trent Dunham. Dunham doing a good job holding off a much faster Keith Batson. And remember, Dunham is not. Remember, Dunham is the last car on the lead lap in 41st position. So this is going to hurt him points wise. The man who won twice this season at Darlington and again at Texas as at Batson rounds off to number nine. He has still got a rather substantial lead. On the 42 of Kyle Matthews. Matthews is now 1.3 behind the leader of the race at the moment. There's the pace car right there. Shelton runs third. Charles Sanford runs fourth. Fifth is Joshua Collar. Sixth place is William Brock. Seventh is Dylan Young. Eighth is Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth is Dylan Poteet. Tenth is Quentin Moore. Eleventh is Johnny Gardner. Cole Deaver runs twelfth. Thirteenth is, is Preston Plored. Plored another two time winner season. He won a season at at um, California and again at Richmond. Fifteenth is Phil Parker. Sixteenth right now is Jesse Turner. Seventeenth at the moment is Seth Cole. Joshua Osborne running eighteenth. Nineteenth is lead by McIntyre and Mike Becker. Currently runs in 20th position at the moment. And Trent Dunham has now gone a lap down to Keith Batson. So Batson should be able to pull away right now as they, as they come down through, through turn number 9. And that time by Kyle Matthews has uh, gained on Batson, but I suspect that I suspect now that Batson's um, cleared lap traffic, he's going to pull ahead. And you see Batson barely put it in the fourth gear before he had the break. Now he goes down through turn six. In the third gear, now he has to break a little bit up to about 145 miles an hour before he gets into turn seven. A little sleeping corner, about much like, like I said, much like 
like turn six at Rivers at uh, Sonoma, where we had to a few races for now. We've got next race on the tour actually will be at Pocono, and then at Michigan, then at Sonoma. Batson now floors the throttle on that Texaco Haviland board, unleashes the horsepower of his of his Thunderbird. Down in the fourth gear under the champion spark plug, Bridgie goes now 187, 89, 90. Batson not using the draft point in a turn and gets only gets up to about 196 miles an hour in a turn over nine. And down about 134 miles an hour and still in fourth gear through turn nine. So on, on the short course, you would have to go up to about maybe third gear in turn nine. And Batson almost knocks on 170 miles an hour going into the Essex. I tell you what, is that board got some power or what? <laughs> and Batson pulls ahead by almost now two seconds ahead of Kyle Matthews in the lead. So Keith Batson in pretty good shape as we have now seven laps in the books and six laps remaining in this race. Remember, Trent Dunham in the one car is not on the lead lap. He's in 41st at the moment after problems on the very first lap of the race. But still Matthew second, still Shelton in third. Fourth is still Sanford. Joshua Collard is in, still in fifth position. And um, going sixth right now is William Brockton, Dylan Young, Fitzwater, Poti, and Quentin Moore, the top ten. Inside, Joshua Coward's car. Coward giving it Richard Petty Motorsports Pontiac a really good ride here in that fifth position. He has yet to get a top five this season. He did finally get a top ten at Dover, the last race on the tour. And Coward usually very, very good on the road course himself. In fact, though, in fact, the uh, Often called the self-proclaimed road racing ace of the in our community. And whoa, Charles Sammer gets off the corners a little off the turn just a little bit. That allowed Collar to close right up on Sanford's back end. Let's see what happens in turn. Let's see what happens. They go into turn six. Collar looks outside at the track there. Nothing there. Sanford pulls away just a little bit. Sanford giving that you know, Pon Chevy another good run. In his home state of California, he remember he ran good the last time he was at California at Auto Club Speedway when he finished the race in third position. And Charles does have a road course victory in this series as well. That came in season 15 at Sonoma. Check the rest of the order here. Johnny Gardner trying to close up on the 21 of Quentin Moore. That's for the top 10. Gardner about has it in his sight, though, but he's still got quite a ways to catch Quentin's car. <laughs> pair of Chevrolet spelling out there. That's 12th and 13th. Cole Deaver and Preston Plored. Preston usually drives a Pontiac, but they decided to go to Chevrolet for the road courses this, this season. Nico he'll bring back this Monte Carlo at, for both uh, races at Sonoma and at Watkins Glen. And all three of those road courses that we have in this series are usually, usually have very different characteristics, obviously, as well. Sonoma, which is the next course on, road course on the tour, he will not have... Hardly has a straightaway. In his, hardly has a straightaway. It has has kind of a uh, twisty, turny feel to it. But anyway, Port runs thirteenth. Phil Parker right now runs in fourteenth position. Fifteenth going right now to Jesse Turner. Sixteenth is still Seth Cole, and seventeenth battling for seventeenth is Joshua Osborne and Levi McIntyre. Osborne runs in seventeenth. McIntyre in eighteenth position. Mike Becker, 19th, and Becca Tellier right now runs in 20th in the Valvoline Ford. Zorlin, 21st. 22nd is Zach Winkle. 23rd, Rob Evans. 24th, Austin Colano. 25th, Vince Almarigo. 26th, Ryan Brommer. 
Tony Green, 27, 28, Peter on Jack. Ashlyn Boyd, 29. Phil Parker right now. Or, I mean, not Phil Parker, listen to me. Um, Paul Minnick right now takes 30th away from Daniel Bouchard, who now is in a battle with Kat Bessness, 31st and 32nd side by side. Bouchard in the 30, Batson in the 88, and Bouchard floors the throttle in his Pontiac and moves ahead of Batson's Ford. So Batson drops to 32nd, Bouchard now in 31st position. Ryan George, 33rd. Darn phone does not stop ringing. Anyway, uh, Brian George runs 33rd. 32nd, 34th is uh, Jason Haywood. 35th right now is Carter Friesen. 36th is Ben Crouch. 37th is Sean Ard. Jay Jefferson, 38th. Not a good day for him. Nicholas Wade, who had been pretty impressive in the early part of the season, he's in 39th position. So his road course prowess, not really the best setup in the world in the 26th Quaker State machine. And so that's where we go back to Keith Batson, who is now coming down for two laps to go, hard to believe. And Diego Yepes is now dropped out of racing the 77 car. He's an entire failure on the 77 U.S. Air Jasper Engines Ford. So that's not Yepes out of the race, and he was unfortunately for him dead last in the points coming in. So not the run he needed here today. But you can bet Keith Batson is going to want to bring this car back to, uh, onto every one of the road courses we, we run to. And I tell you what, if this car runs like this good on the road courses this season, that's bad news for us in the competition because Batson's car has been, the, without question, has been the dominant car all day. It's led all but one lap. That one lap he didn't leave was lap two when Jessica Shelton challenged him. And that's been the only scare Batson's even got, though. And of course, uh, and of course since then, he has pulled, and since then, and clearing Trent Dunham. <clears throat> the lap car, Batson has, has pulled ahead to a su very substantial 3.2 second advantage now on Kyle Matthews. Shelton still remains third. Fourth remains Charles Sanford. And fifth position remains Joshua Collard. There's battle for second place trying to develop between Matthews and Shelton. They're going to get the white flag this time by for Keith Batson and the Texaco Havlin Ford. And he'll round off turn number nine. White flag for Keith Batson. He has, he has about a little less than three miles to go here at Riverside. Batson, the, the pride out of the state of Maine, has won some on the road courses in this series, but not very often. And, it's on the way to, and, I, and I don't think Riverside has been one of this road victories neither in the series. So I think this could be a first road victory. This could be a first Riverside victory for Batson, the man from the state of Maine. And that engine running flawlessly in that Texaco Havlin Ford just it's almost like it's running like a it's almost like a running like a Timex watch. It's just it's just run to per, just tuned to perfection. Off turn number eight he comes, and now, now on the long straightaway he goes, and before he heads into the, to the sweeping turn nine. As he comes down the start, as he comes down the straightaway here, uh, 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 as I said, the car knocking on about 195 miles an hour in the turn number nine. Keith Batson, the Texaco Havlin Ford, car number 28, rounds turn number nine. He comes, he has had bad luck in the first part of the season. But bad luck no more. Keith Batson wins the Bud 400 at Riverside. Keith Batson, a dominant performance here today. Kyle Matthews comes home second. Third place will go to Jessica Shelton. Fourth place to Charles Sanford. Fifth to Joshua Card. William Brock comes home sixth. 7th to Dylan Young, 8th to Zachary Fitzwater, 
Ninth to Dylan Poteet. And 10th place will go to Quentin Morris. He holds off Johnny Gardner for that 10th position. Gardner finishes 11th. 12th place will be, will be Cole Deaver. 13th will be Preston Plored. Phil Parker, 5th, 14th. 15th, Jesse Turner. 16th, Seth Cole. Battle for 17th goes to Joshua Osborne over Levi McIntyre, who finishes 18th. 19th, Mike Becker, and Becca Tellier will end up finishing in 20th position. So 14 races are in the books in the Casual GTX Cup Series, and Keith Batson gets his first victory of the season. Average speed of almost 135 miles an hour. That broke that Riverside course was very fast here today. And of course, the cool conditions kind of held to it unseasonably cool for California, I might add. But you can bet, like I said, Keith Batson's going to want to bring that car back to both Watkins Glen and Sonoma as well. Uh, you see Trent Dunham ahead uh, of comments. It's again, Trent Dunham not on the lead lap. He finishes race in 40th position. Rest of the finishing order for you right here. Uh, Zach Winkle comes home in uh, 22nd position. Then Rob Evans, Austin Colano, Vince Almerigo, Ryan Brommer, Tony Green, Peter Onjak, Ashlyn Boyd, and Paul Menick. The top 30. Then Dana Bouchard, Kat Betson, Ryan George, Jason Haywood, Penn Crouch, Sean R. J. Jefferson, Nicholas Wade was the last car, only 11 38th. Uh, Trent Dunham, 39th. And Carter Friesen had a problem uh, late in the go, and he ends up finishing. He actually, he's actually the one that ends up finishing 40th in the two laps down. Dunham actually picked up a spot to 39th. But Dunham, who started up in the top uh, 10 position, uh, top 15, I should say, uh, had high ups for his race, and then problems set in, of course, in the very first lap of the race. And. Um, Actually, him holding off Batson kind of made things interesting there for a minute, but uh, once Batson got by Denham, he pretty much set sail to victory as the Texaco Hamlin Ford out of KB Enterprises um, gets, gets the win here today at Sonoma. And I think for Batson, I think it's his first victory ever at Riverside, I think, at least this version, at least this course anyway, but I think it's his first one ever on this historic road course. So... That's the story here for the for this for this for this Bud 400 for the Casual GTX Cup Series. And as always, if, if you like what you see here, if, if you like what you see, see here, be sure to subscribe to the NSR Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on the channel. We got NR races, gaming videos, whatever the person in the NSR set goal desires. And please be sure to check out our other NS, our other series under the under under the NSR umbrella. We have the we have the so we have sets. Three main series, the Pizza Hut X series, the Hershey's Cup series, and the Last of Us Light series, and the Coors Light Truck series. Please be sure to check those prices out. And also on the NSR Sports the Game Show, we have Michael Gordon's Budweiser All Pro series. And we also, and, 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 and of course, we also have the NSR Marvel Studios Cup series from, from Thrash Maniac 99. And please be sure to check to subscribe. And please be sure to, to subscribe to Thrash Maniac 99 if you want to be in that series as well. as well so yeah <laughs> so anyway that's the story for riverside raceway and above 400 congratulations again to keith batson who gets his first victory of season of season 20 and that should help him points wise as well here so with all that said so next race on the tour will be at michigan or no scratch that next race on the will be at pocono for the 500 g 400 vision the pronounced james paul's in the production at the end of the cra offline racing at its best